What's up guys, it's Brown again from Lake Kicker Scuba and Marine. We're headed up to do another search and recovery today. We've got a gentleman who is out here on the lake, he's in his kayak, had his girlfriend with him, and not sure quite what happened, but somehow the kayak flipped over and he lost his truck keys or his car keys. So he gave us a call, wanted to know if we could come out and at least search for him. Uh, so we're gonna go up here and pick him up, go back up to the spot he was at. Hopefully he'll be able to pinpoint us. We're not sure exactly what the bottom's like, what kind of composition it is. We don't even know how deep it is, but hopefully he'll be able to pinpoint us. We got our depth finder up here and then we're gonna look for it, get a good general idea of what the area is like so we know what kind of search pattern is. And then of course we're gonna jump in and see if we can find us or find his keys for him. So come along with us, we'll see how good we do. Thank <laughs> you. 
Reel on me up. Closer that way? What about out in the cove or closer in? But closer, you were closer to that log. Okay. I'm going to try to go past the log just a little bit. When an object falls, it doesn't fall like this. It's going to move the same distance side to side as your depth is. So it's 13 feet, so that could be anywhere within a 13 foot radius. Okay? But you think I'm, I should be closer to the log, but further out. Okay. Okay. Just to show you how far stuff moves. Okay? All right, guys, so we just got finished up, had quite a bit of luck there. Ended up finding the gentleman's keys for him. It wasn't too far off, as most of you guys know, when we do these searches, whatever my depth is, that's gonna be my search radius. So I was probably 10 feet away from originally from where he said the boat was at, from where I actually found the keys. But it did take me a little bit to find them, but I came back up for a second go round, had him re-tell me where he was at again, and I was able to go down and find them. But I really appreciate you coming on this dive with me. If you got any questions on how to do a search and recovery dive or any suggestions, please put it down in the comment section below. If you like this video, smash that like button for me. If you don't like it, hit the dislike. It doesn't really bother me. But just let me know that you watched the video. Hit that like button. As always, guys, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.